Hello and welcome to Hacker World Technologies. Here we're going to show you how to make a simple continuity tester. This is what we call Hacker World 1.0 continuity tester. We're going to tell you how useful this is, what it's used for, and how you can make it yourself. Now, first of all, this is very useful. You can use it, use it in place of a digital meter. This meter will cost you uh, about $30 or more. For this continuity tester will cost you about three dollars so if all you needed was a simple continuity tester then you might want to do your own hacker world 1.0 continuity tester and we're going to show you how this works and when i turn the switch on the led comes on when i turn it off the led goes off and what hap what is happening here we explain this to you at the end of this video but just pay attention here what can you use this for you can use it as a simple continuity tester to check if your coaxial cable is short circuited which in this case it is, or if it is open circuited. So you can you can use it to sort through cables. If you have a bunch of cables at home, four, five, or six, and you want to make connections to one of them, and you don't know which one you're using, this continuity tester comes handy. It is very ergonomic, you know, in the design. You have the switch here, and you have a hook. You can use it to hook it up somewhere, and also you can rotate it 360 degrees. No problem. You can rotate the head 360 degrees. It goes round and it gives you no issues at all. So, um, if the if it is on, you can rotate it around 360 degrees and it stays on when it comes back. So very very you know um, efficient design here, and we'll show you how to make this yourself. Now you can use this like we said to sort through cables to ch make sure you're connected to the right one and also to check if your cable has been short circuited or not having said that let's go directly and show you how to make this hacker world 1.0 continuity tester first of all you need a battery compartment holder so in our own case we bought these touch lights from a dollar store it's like cost like a dollar and 29 cents you have this from from the dollar store you can get it from anywhere it doesn't really matter this was originally a touch light this is the head you can see the reflector and the, the bulb inside and then we took it off we took it apart and we had we have ourselves the battery compartment holder and here we have the batteries we have double a batteries so you can use uh, double a batteries in this design you can use any other type of battery it doesn't really matter but in this design we decided to go with the double a batteries so having said that um, to make this LED come on you need to find a way to complete the path of the voltage or the current from the battery from the positive side of it to the negative side of it when this part is completed flowing through the LED then the LED will be on otherwise it will remain off how did we do this here look we have a 100 ohm resistor connecting from the positive side of the battery going through the anode of our LED and the anode is the longer side in this case and going to the the, the cathode of the LED and now this portion of the LED should go to ground but no it didn't go to ground it went through this connector it went through the middle part of the connector whereas the outer part of the connector goes to the ground so this is so um, so innovative in the design so all you need to do is to find a way to complete the path and the stop is doing the complete completion of the path for you so if I have a longer cable connected here for instance now it doesn't really matter how long this cable is 